New York. It's everything that you expect a big, brash, busy city to be. A city that is alive 24 hours a day. You know what to expect. The Statue of Liberty, Times Square, Central Park. Yes, it all exists. But what you can't really anticipate is that despite its size, the hustle and bustle, the famous stores, the familiar sights, New York is really about the people who live there. There is no quiet time in New York. The sound of sirens is a constant there. The sirens sing you to sleep at night. You just become used to them. These sirens sound louder than you hear anywhere else because they bounce off the walls of the skyscrapers, creating a strange echo effect, which makes it difficult to know from which direction they come. New York, it's a city of unusual sights. Whilst walking up 8th Avenue towards Central Park, there on the roundabout at Columbus Circle was a ballerina in tutu and point shoes. The woman performed ballet without music. Whether it was a setup or not, I don't know. But a gentleman dressed in a business suit joined her for a party de deux. Much to the glee of a stationary tourist coach whose passengers applauded with gusto. Whilst walking through Central Park, there was a large pack of London police having a charity fun run whilst wearing their bobby hats. No one took any notice. The unusual is normal in New York. New Yorkers have a reputation for being grumpy, but that wasn't my experience. Heavily armed cops around Times Square were more than happy to have their photos taken with tourists. Ordinary New Yorkers were happy to give directions. I wandered down to a laundromat on 10th Street, only to find that the street was closed to traffic and they were setting up for a food fair that was several blocks long. That same day, I caught the subway downtown and discovered Broadway to be closed because a dance school parade was being held. A few blocks later in Little Ukraine in East Village and several streets were closed for a Ukrainian festival. It all happens in New York, and it was truly a delight. On my last night in New York, I went to the top of the Empire State Building. At midnight, you don't want to waste your time sleeping when in the Big Apple. It was a warm, clear evening, and the lights went on forever. What a great sight! You could easily pick out landmarks such as the Chrysler Building and Brooklyn Bridge. You could see the Hudson and East Rivers, New Jersey and all of New York's boroughs. It all felt so familiar, yet it was so fantastic to be there. That's New York. You go there once and it beckons you back. 